never been killed but become part of the army of the undead. Survivors are told not to leave their households and wait for further instructions on what to do. Malcolm and Eldry, BBC News. And now for the weather. Do you see anything, James? No. Well, how about now? There is nothing and nobody in the garden. How can you be so sure? Have you had your eyes checked recently, dear boy? Doctor says I have perfect 20-20 vision, sir. Well, how can you trust a doctor? How, for all you know, he could be one of them. This was last month, sir. The outbreak of the undead happened only two days ago, sir. Dear boy, I... Oh, would any of you boys like a cup of tea? Quiet, woman. This woman has no notion of what's going on. Mm. Yes. How was school, little one? Well, it's been closed the past couple of days due to the uh, zombie apocalypse. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good. Oh, good, yes. What shall we do, sir? We need to think of a plan. We need to get to the police station just outside the village. I'm sure there'll be a safe hold there. But didn't the newsreader explicitly say, do not leave your house? Then why, dear boy, did you leave your house when you were explicitly told not to then? Hmm? I live next door, and you paid me to cut the grass. Well, can't we all just settle down? I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. It'll blow over soon. Quiet, woman! We have no time for bickering or squabbling. We need to move fast. Women, know your limits. Well, I guess I'll put the percolator on then. But what about my parents? They're still at my house. It's too late for that. They could be one of them now. I'm sure they would have been okay if I had stayed with them and... Enough of that talk, dear boy. I'm afraid your parents may well now be in league with the undead. What shall we do? We need to get to the police station on the other side of town. It looks like that going by foot is the only option. We need to go through the woods. That seems to be the safest option by far. <laughs> 